Hi guys, I'm Kristen. Welcome to my beach house. Come on in. So this is our dining room. We have a lot of dinner parties here. I love this big table we got at a vintage shop in San Francisco. This is a tapestry that I got in Hong Kong when I went there a really long time ago. So we love the view from here. We can see the ocean. This is our sunken living room, straight out of 1976. The centerpiece of the living room is this fireplace, which I love. It's obviously very 70s, and I basically wanted this house because of this fireplace. A lot of our textiles are from Iran. My husband is Iranian, and his um, mom goes back to Iran, and she always brings me something gorgeous from there. My favorite thing in the living room is the swinging chair. I've wanted one of these forever, and I finally got one. I did a collaboration with Serena and Lily, and um, this was the result, and I love it so much. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's a lamp that I found on eBay. I think it was about 40 bucks. So this is our teenager, Joel's bedroom. We had this uh, custom wallpaper made for him. It has little pictures of all of his favorite things. When he walked in the room, he ran over to it, and he goes, whoa, that's sick. And I was like, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> We also installed this swing for him. He loves the one upstairs, so he has one in here as well. Across the hall is my soon-to-be three-year-old's room. In keeping with the 70s vibe of this house, this is a waterbed, <laughs> which she loves. She has so much fun on. The poster on the wall I've had for about 20 years, and I always thought when I have a child, I'm gonna put that in her room, and it finally happened. So this is the man cave. This is my husband's office, and it's also my office now too, though. I have infiltrated the man cave. As you can see, it also has quite the 70s vibe happening with this wallpaper. It was actually here when we moved in, and I fell in love with it, so we kept it. So this desk, it was here when we moved in. It's huge, so we can't really move it, but luckily it's, it's really handy. I, I work from here, um, there's tons of space, there's lots of storage, and it has space for my little collection of crystal balls, which I love. We have a little bar down here just in case we need a break from working too hard. The light, it was also here when we moved in. Again, very 70s vibe, so we kept it, we love it. So this is our master bedroom. We had the bed made by a green carpenter. He uses all recycled wood. This is a poncho that I found at a vintage store that I threw in here. I decided to just have an exposed clothing rack, and it holds about a tenth of my clothing. <laughs> but luckily, Frida doesn't have many clothes yet, so I'm using some of her closet space. So this is my little corner where I do my makeup. This table, it was an Ikea find, it was $40. So I found this mother of pearl chandelier on eBay. Uh, I was looking for something just like this, and it was only about $100, so it was a total steal. Over here is a surprise feature of the room. Hello! Also kind of a 70s thing that is a holdover that we decided to keep. If you want to have a puppet show, it's really handy. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's time to go now because I have to be a mom. Frida's home from daycare, so we have to go. Thanks for coming by though, you guys. Have a good day. Can you say bye-bye? Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.